The comeback of Thunder over Louisville after two years of restrictions also means the comeback of a major crowd. Kentucky Derby Festival organizers telling us that with the amazing forecast on track for Saturday, it could be well over a half million people attending. They're expecting one of their biggest crowds. WHS 11's Isaiah Kim Martinez covered today's news conference with police. And Isaiah, are they concerned about their current shortage of police officers impacting safety in any way with such a big crowd? Well, Doug, they admitted it's a challenge, but for right now, they kept much of those specifics to their security approach close to the vest. They did say that other agencies, plenty of others, will be helping with this on this lawn, which is sure to be packed. You actually see some vendors behind me getting set and getting ready. We're told officers again will be all over and they're telling the community if you see something, say something. Our theme, The Legend Returns, says it all. The countdown to a welcome sight. A heavily missed tradition is back, allowing crowds to pack the waterfront and look up. I grew up on it. It's just such a beautiful venue. I'm, I'm happy we're showing it off. Angela Strobel has been to 10 Thunder Over Louisville events in her life, working some as a vendor. She's looking forward to the latest after a two-year hiatus. I'm glad we're back. It's about time. As vendors prep and mounted police make their way through, at Metro State's Operations Center, cameras show the calm before the storm, or in this case, before the sun. This is one of the biggest. With a warm, sunny Saturday to come, the Kentucky Derby Festival says they're expecting turnout close to 500,000 people, maybe even more. LMPD tasked with keeping attendees safe amid officer shortages. It is a challenge, but we were able to overcome it with planning and with the assistance from all of our partners that I mentioned. Um, everybody has to step up. LMPD Assistant Chief Andy McClinton detailed the Metro security plan Wednesday, saying at least 15 different agencies, including the ATF, FBI, and U.S. Coast Guard, are assisting. They say they've made changes ahead of time, but didn't give specifics. I'm confident in our plan. They've done an excellent job. You know, we use the nation's best practices when we plan these events. I feel like we're going to have a safe and secure event. What would you tell them to, again, make sure that they're feeling safe when they're coming? It's just like I said earlier, if you see something, say something. We've got a great plan in place. They're encouraging attendees to help be their eyes and ears and report anything suspicious to officers on site. And again, you see the plenty of the work happening still three days away from the event. It will only get busier. Meanwhile, KDF President Matt Gibson also talked about new tech or tech improvements to allow for first responders and people to better report things or situations if something doesn't feel right allowing people to be more connected again he didn't specify on those though another tip for them if you come into the area early on stay here don't travel back and forth to avoid any congestion issues as far as traffic goes we'll cover southern indiana tomorrow live here in downtown louisville isaiah kim martinez whas 11 on your side